Hello guys, good morning. How are you doing? Okay, today this morning, uh, this is um, 19th of July, 2023. So today again, I want to show you similarities between fundamental analysis. If you check my WhatsApp status on Tuesday, which is 18th of July, 2023, I posted something about macro. When you talk about macroeconomics, you know, we are talking about fundamentals, which is actually a event that moves the market. Like I always say, you can be 100% profitable with just technical analysis only. So far, you know what you are doing in technical analysis, you can be profitable yeah what macro will help you on is it will boost your confidence to take a trade when you see a pattern and you know that let's say yesterday which is tuesday there is um news on aud card and this red folders news on on cards on uh, canadians you know knowing that these news are coming out and you go to Pairs that have um, pairs like AUD card, NZD card, GBP card, and anything that is card related. If you go to all these things and check the chart, if you see any pattern there, you know, maybe a sell or a buy pattern, it will give you more confidence to take the trade. And what, what well, another thing it will do for you is that it's going to help you not to wait for too long to be in a trade. Once you enter the trade, the trade will just move to your direction. You don't need to start waiting for the market to start ranging or start dancing around or start doing some. You understand? So I will show you um, the similarities between them here and now. So let's go. I took... Um, NZD card, the NZD card, I didn't take it. I didn't take the trade. Do you know why? I was waiting for a clear confirmation uh, on my technicals, but the trade was clear. You know, I marked it up, wanted to take it by 2 a.m. I looked at the trade, I was like, okay, since AUD hard news, you can see Tuesday here by 2 a.m. and hard news by 1 p.m. card. Let me watch AUD card. So look at what happened. You know, I have analyzed all this, but well, okay, before I begin, let me, uh, let me not just, let me not bother you with too much information. Let's just go straight to card, uh, AUD card. You know, before I take my trade, I first of all do my due diligence. It's very important. You know, you do your your top down analysis first. Check what's happening in the market before you take your trade. Okay. I use weekly, daily, and four hour time frame to always check what's going on in the market. You know, you know, all of us know how to, not all of us anyway. Um, You cannot make money in this market if you don't know your technicals well. <laughs> you need to have uh, technical knowledge. But let me not say that you will not make money, but it's important to know how to do technical markups. It's very important, you know. So looking at this AUD card, you know, if you, I don't care about whatever that is happening at the back of, um, at the back, uh, you know, I mostly focus on what's happening recently in the market. So following this, I will call this a higher high, higher low, higher high. You know, I mark candle bodies. So this is my lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Okay, here we made a higher high, 
then we made a low and low. So we made a higher high here again. As you can see, this is a very beautiful shot. You know, this is a low and low. So here I will mark, I normally just mark it, but I will only do it here. I will not do it anyway again. I just mark this and lower high because that's what caused the lower low here. Okay. I just mark it, you know. We just mark it. So um so on weekly, I will always type it on weekly appearish on weekly time frame weekly bearish. Okay. So um so within this range I will use I will look for a so demand and supply zone. What I marked here is a supply zone. You know, supply zone is just looking for area of where market interacted, you know, area of support and resistance. You know, you know how to look for it. That's not what I'm making this video for. I just want to show you the similarities between fundamentals and technicals, you know. So on um, this is a weekly time frame, a daily time frame, I go down to daily immediately, you know, a daily time frame. We made um it's important to just okay. This is far. But let me start here. This is Higher high, higher low, higher high. So we made this lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. All these, this is lower low, lower high. You know, market made a higher high. Still doing all this. We broke, made a lower low, lower high. Made a lower low. From there, we made a higher high. From there, we made a lower low. <laughs> we made a lower low here, you know? Made lower high, lower low. Yeah. We made a high, higher high. So, on daily, we are bullish. You know, on daily time frame, we are bullish. We are bullish. So within this area, I look for a demand zone. You know, go and learn how to mark your demand zone. So on for our time frame, this is very pretty. You know, on Monday, all these have started farming, giving me uh, signals. So if you look at our chart, let me just mark the recent thing in the market. Um, this is higher high, this is higher low, this is higher high, this is lower low. So when this thing happened, I just saw all this. You know, when I saw all this, I was like, this thing this market is doing here, and news is coming out. You know, market was just rejecting. So actually, on four hour, we are bearish. Then on four hour, I don't normally pick four hour zone, but I have to pick it here because market is respecting it. This is resistance, this is support, this is support. You know, a market broke it and market was dancing around. Uh, I was like, uh, okay. What is going on here? What is actually going on? Okay, it's like it's fine. Uh, this is Monday. We had this rejection. This is Tuesday. We had this rejection. This is early morning. Yes, this is early morning. 
you know, this candle, all of them printed when the monetary policy of AUD came out. You know, I thought market would just break it, but it didn't. You know, we are under it. I went down to 30 minutes time frame. You know, on 30 minutes time frame here, I was looking, I was just watching. I just read, I read the market structure here. Everything is market structure. You know, we are going down already. This is a counter trend. We had this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. We broke out. I was like, oh, wow. Then I was, this market want to sell. This market want to sell. Since there is a card news by 1.30 p.m. Nigerian time, let's see how it's going to play out. You know? So all these things was happening. It was happening. And another lesson, you know, this video I'm making is just like a journal to me. Another lesson I picked from this trade, you know, um, all this was in green hair. I developed FOMO. We all know what FOMO is all about. FOMO. So when this market was doing all this, I was like, okay, let me just wait for an engulfing candle. This is um 7 a.m. You know, this is 7 a.m., right? This shouldn't be 7 a.m. No. I didn't take this trade by 7 a.m. Where's my time? Let me check. Okay. My time is in New York section. Okay. <laughs> uh, no wonder. Okay. Uh, so 7 o'clock is 1 p.m. You know, that's 1 p.m. candle, 1 p.m. Nigerian time. You know, I, I'm using New York section. So when I saw this candle, it engulfed. But if you look at this candle, it's not like, it's not that uh, too bearish. But there is one thing I have noticed again, a candle, a red candle that had a week below is a strong bearish candle. And a bullish candle that have a week above is a, it's a strong bullish candle, candle like this, you know. So when I saw this, I said, let me enter this trade. And when you enter trade, just put your stop loss at a place that makes sense at a structural level. So that is why I brought my stop loss up here. I was like, okay, let me look at this trade. I will tell you the truth. I took the trade, immediately the trade started selling. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I wish I will play what happened is in this candle. This candle did. <laughs> okay, it showed in 15 minutes. This candle. Look at this candle here. So this candle, when news came out, this news came out by one, this is 9.30. Are you sure this is New York session? Why is this showing that way? That should be, let me put this in Nigeria, to Nigerian time, please. Okay. Uh -huh. This candle, okay. Um. The New York candle is right. Okay, the market started selling then by 1.30. This is 12.30. This is 1 o'clock. Uh, this is the, car, the news candle. At 1.30, market was selling. Look at what market did. People that trade on a block, we know that this is another block. Market did like I wanted to come and pick this other block here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Like you wanted to come and pick this other block here. It didn't make it this red candle. Then it later went up. Picked the other block. 
picked the other block, this other block here. So people that do other block will put their stop loss here, right? Oh, it is wonderful. And this road, oh, it is wonderful, really wonderful. You know, the trade came up better. I will not put my stop loss there anyway. My stop loss, I normally allow my stop loss to break, you know. So this candle during the news now came to pick this. So when he picked it, oh boy, this market started ranging. I was at the office. I was like, what is this market doing? Yo, man, please just go down. I don't like this thing you are doing. Why are you playing with my emotions? <laughs> this is where psychology comes in. <laughs> Once you enter a trade, just relax, sit and forget. Looking at that trade is just poisoning your mind. Just let the trade, let the trade breathe. Don't suffocate it. Allow your trade to run. So far, you had your stop loss at a proper place. And look at what watching trade will do to you. And now came and mark this support. This is a support. When market came up here, you see, we started rejecting. If market is coming down, it reject. Coming down, it reject again. Coming down, it reject again. Oh, I didn't show you the card news by 130. That's the news by 130. That's the news. Card CPI news. Uh, okay, this thing I've not refreshed, Seth. Let me see. Let me refresh it. I'll use this one. Let me refresh. Mr. Man, please, can you? Tuesday. Oh. What's happening? Okay, that's the news card. You know, the news came out negative, which is bad for the currency. Actual greater than forecast is good for the currency. This is bad. When I saw this, I was like, this thing's supposed to sell. Yeah, it's, it's going to sell. Let me just avoid these people, you know. Since this is um, lesser than the forecast, lower than the forecast. Actually, it's lower than the forecast. You know, this thing, like, this is, um, this thing started ranging 1 p.m. This is 2.30, 3, 4. It's really respecting. Around 5, you know, broke out. We tested, you know, you know, AUD card move during Sydney, Tokyo, and all these things. So that's how the trade ended, you know, during the news, during the card news. You see how it played out. It might take profit, you know. This is the daily. This is the daily, I love using higher time frame. This is the daily demand zone that I marked, you know. Yeah, I'm looking now to take long, long position. Yeah. So once I see a confirmation, I'm going to take a position off of this higher high on daily. Higher low. So if I see confirmation, I'm going to take it long, you know. So that's that on AUD card. You see how it aligned with the news. Your trade will just play out. And there is another thing. If you stop listening to these people that are shouting online, shouting, hey, this, that, this, that. Yeah. I don't know why they are doing that. 
They come in the market, we are making noise. Why? We are making noise. I don't know why this, this one is showing news. I don't know why this trade view is doing like this. Let me look for AUD card here. This is my second trade view. You can actually know what macro is doing without even looking at Forest Factory. Just come to your chart. Let me look for AUD card to show you. This is AUD chef. I'm looking for AUD card, my pro. You see, this chart is just where I do my. See, I don't have any markup here. I just do my top down here. You see, um, weekly bearish, daily bearish, um, four hour bearish. You know. So, what am I doing here? Um, I want to show you. I wanted to show you. Oh, it's like this event only happen on USD pairs. You can go to, you can go to, let me check. Okay, it's like it's only on USD pairs. The news, you know, you can actually check it. This is uh, what happened yesterday. I did the news for today. You always see it. You just go to your trading view, you go to settings, go to invent, and turn on these things. Economic invent on chart. We'll be seeing the news here. You know, it's not it's not a rocket science. For all these minor pairs, you go to Forex Factory to check them. So that's it for AUD card. So NZD card, the same thing. NZD card, like this trade is a bomb. <laughs> uh, you see they had the same structure. If you paid attention to what I showed you before on, on um, what is it called? On AUD card, it has almost the same uh, markup with this one, you know, on weekly we are bullish, yeah? We are bullish, and daily we are bullish, on four hour we are bearish. But why did I take this trade? I know that card DPY, I mean, I mean card news is coming. So when I went to one hour time frame, I told you that whenever news is coming, you just see a pattern on your chart. So we know this is a higher high, higher low, higher high, right? Then we had divergence, market going up, coming down here. Then whenever a higher low or lower high is taken out, we know that that's a break of structure. You know, this is a break of structure here. So market broke it. The market started, respected at first, came down, came up again. When it came up, I woke up around 2 a.m. You know, I saw this trade. I hesitated to take this trade pro. This is a very clean trade. See rejections, all these rejections. This happened by 2 a.m. Uh, I mean, 6 a.m., you know, 6 a.m., this market just, the market took, the market printed this engulfing candle. This is really clean, you know, after giving us this counter trend, counter trend, broke out of the counter trend line, like, this trade was a bomb. See printing. Once it's news day, this is what you will see. You will not see ranging market and all these things. You see how this one is very neat, very clean. The trade is so clean. 
or you know. So it's still flying down. Still flying down. Now we do nothing. Allow this thing to break well, since now break out it won't, you know. Since now break out, I doubt because this page is bullish. So I will see how it will react. Uh, if it breaks well, come up here and give um and go see. Be a rich handle. I will take a shot. F or no, nothing. So you will not straight. I didn't turn the event analysis on it. It's playing out well. It's USC JPY. You know, there's divergence, break of structure, you know, break of structure, point A to point B, you know, point A to point B. It is where I was looking at that first, you know. Why I didn't take the trade is because this thing didn't break out how I liked it on one hour time frame, you know. But on 30 minutes it shows, but on one hour. So that is why I didn't take the trade, this trend line, break out trade test, see? It's playing out fine. If you hit this take profit, that would be one ratio, one ratio 3.65. I want to take a shot from there because my top down USD JPY is bearish on weekly, bearish on weekly time frame. You know, even though it's still respecting this area. And on daily time frame, it's bearish. I put this trend line, I have even broken the trend line. So what I'm waiting for is a test of this trend line to take a shot. On our time frame, it's bearish. So this is just a counter trend, you know. So this market, you know how to read the market well. There's no news back in this one. Or oh, this is um, technically inclined, hundred percent. So this video is have as a journal, a lesson, a lecture, a teaching, or whatever you want to see it from. How you look at it tomorrow to you know even learn. That's the need and importance of keeping all these tunnels so guys thank you have a nice day bye